I'm Andrew Ford, and I'm a composer most of the time. Well, actually, I'm a composer all of the time, but I am composing most of the time. But sometimes I write about music, and sometimes I'm here at the ABC making radio programmes about music. But it's all about music. I think I had had composerly ideas for a while, but there was a precise moment where I thought, I really want to do this. And, and it was one day in 1973, and there was a television programme on BBC Television. I was in England. It was a Saturday night television programme called full house and it was an arts program but it was a live to air arts program in front of a live audience and they often played new music uh, in you know the london sinfonietta for example would be uh, in the studio and there was theater and poetry and so on and this particular night uh, it was the london sinfonietta with karl heinz stockhausen and he was interviewed about this new piece that he had written called Ilem, and then the Sinfonietta uh, performed the piece. I think they even rehearsed it and performed it. So, And I was enthralled, and I, one of the things I was enthralled about was that they didn't have any many music in front of them. They were. It was one of Stockhausen's intuitive pieces, maybe his most ambitious intuitive piece, Lots of instructions, five pages of closely typed instructions, but but no notation. And I was I was fascinated by this, but also significantly, I suppose, I thought I could be part of this. I think I tend to write pieces from the beginning to the end, um, and I sketch when I need to. I might sketch to start with and then I might find later that I need to sketch a bit more. But a lot of my sketching actually happens on the manuscript paper. I use a pencil and paper and I rub out a lot. And and of course, really what I'm rubbing out is my sketches, uh, my false starts and so on. And, I, and then I rewrite over the top. So every score of mine is a palimpsest uh, with with my sketches underneath, uh, I try to keep sketches separate, but it never really works, and I find that the two processes are kind of. But I write like that too. I mean, I write words like that. I I'm not one of those people who can do the sensible thing, which is to write r a rough article and then polish it up. I, I'm I find it hard to go on to the second paragraph until I've got the first paragraph right, which I know is a daft way to approach it, but it's uh, it's just the way I do it. Sometimes I look at pieces and I think, well, I have no idea how I did that or what I meant by it. I was proofreading something the other day and there was it was obviously wrong, but, and it was, but it was in my handwritten manuscript. And it had been faithfully typeset by the typesetter. And I had no idea what I had actually meant. So I just crossed it all out. But, but uh, I, I couldn't reconstruct my thought process at all. I think the reason I like to use pencil and paper, and it's got to be 2B, by the way, the pencil, um, and the best quality paper you can find. But it, it's, I'm not a performer, right? So I don't have the experience of putting my finger on a on a string and vibrating it or even really playing a, a keyboard i mean i do use a piano but i use the piano to to listen and try things out i i don't i can't play the piano but the physicality of the, of of writing is a bit like that i think and i and i think it's an important part of of the composing process the actual business not just of making marks and sometimes trying to make them rather beautifully and certainly trying to make them clear but actually pushing the the lead against the paper and and, and making indentations and feeling 
how how it how it feels to 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 write on, on paper. That's that's part of it. And I think if you took that away, even if I, I I had a very good crash course and learnt how to use a, a system like Sibelius uh, and was very good at it, I don't think it would be. Well, I think it would, I think it would change me, and I would miss the pencils. <laughs>